Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The Daily Detail. I'm your host, Miko, and today we're going to talk about how Amazon um, is entering into the crypto jungle with their NFT that is um, supposed to be coming out later this spring. So let's jump into that and see how that helps the Web3 space. Okay, so last week, Amazon... uh, partnered with Ava Labs, which is the company behind the Avalanche blockchain. So they're really delving into um, Web3. And then just a few days ago, um, uh, sources say that Amazon will launch an NFT um, sometime this spring. And this was um, taken from the actual article um, on uh, BlockWorks. It says, Amazon has been shopping the digital collectibles effort to no short shortage of power players in the industry per multiple sources. Said to be among those entities are layer one blockchains, blockchain-based gaming startups and developers and digital asset exchanges. There's a focus on blockchain-based gaming and related NFT application. So this is really huge for all of us in Web3 because um, with an established trusted brand such as Amazon uh, entering into the space, it will help onboard uh, people onto crypto. Many people are still very skeptical around um, crypto Um, And I think mainly it's because there's not enough education out there regarding its benefits. But with Amazon entering into this arena, it is great for everyone uh, in Web3. And here's some of the reasons that I thought why Amazon would be great. Um, I said Amazon is uniquely positioned to offer a hassle-free, simplified onboarding process that could offer users the ability to buy everyday household products that we already buy uh, with the click of a crypto button. And uh, that would be just a great onboarding experience for their millions of shoppers. Another um, reason is Amazon could provide education um, around the benefits of using crypto. Um, Better education will make customers more comfortable transacting with cryptocurrency. And there's no other company in a better position to provide education around um, crypto than Amazon. Another reason is Amazon, they've recently announced that they will end their philanthropic smile program. So um, I believe crypto can be an easy alternative for customers who still want to support their favorite charities. Um, Perhaps by ending that SMILE program, uh, Amazon can start up a new program where individuals can easily donate crypto or at least educate people on how to do so. And the last thing is that Amazon blockchain powered verification is I think by far the most promising aspect for Amazon coming into the blockchain. Um, By using distributed ledger technology, uh, it'll be possible to securely store user data and prevent hacks. I mean, being on the the, the blockchain would really enhance security um, for everyone who is using it. So those are just some reasons I thought that Amazon coming into Web3 is really a good thing. So, but what is an Amazon NFT or what is an NFT? Well, for those who don't know, NFT is short for non-fungible token. It is a unique digital asset or collectible that is stored on a blockchain. Uh, NFTs have a unique history that can be tracked. They can be verified to represent ownership of a digital asset such as artwork or music and so forth. So how are NFTs created? Well, 
they are created by using um, the blockchain and the blockchain stores that digital information information securely. So if you are a creator, if you're an artist, um, and now companies such as Amazon, um, you can create and add digital uh, information to, to the, to the um, blockchain. And this information is stored and protected um, in an immutable ledger. So it cannot be uh, changed. And what are some of the benefits of NFTs? Well, NFTs provide uh, a number of benefits that traditional digital assets can't match. First, NFTs are totally unique. Um, they are truly one of a kind. Each is stored on a blockchain and is assigned a unique ID. Um, so every time that NFT changes hands, there is a different ID code. So you can track and see exactly who is the owner of, of, of a particular NFT. Um, and owners um, can simply transfer their NFTs from one wallet to another wallet. Um, and that's something I believe that Amazon can help with, um, helping people understand what exactly is a wallet and how wallets are used in Web3. And how to buy an NFT? Well, with Amazon coming online, it's going to be super simple. I'm sure it'll, it'll just be one click. But until that happens, um, there are popular NFT websites such as the such as OpenSea. Um, and there's also NFTs, which is on the diesel blockchain, which is which, which is the one I prefer. Um, I recommend NFTs because unlike other blockchains, all DSO NFTs have primary, primary and secondary uh, sales of royalties. Um, and this is just an example of a really nice uh, NFT by Clout Women Unite on the DSO blockchain. You can find them on the Diamond app. So once you've selected your platform, you know, you browse the NFTs. Um, and then you um, make your purchase. It's really easy. It's really simple with the DSO blockchain. Um, and you can even make your own NFTs, which are really, it's, it's really very simple. I went, went through the process myself and um, it was, it's very user-friendly. So what are some NFT use cases? Well, um, di digital art. Artists can create unique digital artworks and sell them as NFTs. Um, this allows the artist to attach certain rights to their artwork, such as limiting its re redistribution or reuse. Um, another um, use case is collectibles. Creators can create limited edition NFTs as collectibles. Uh, another is, di of course, digital assets. Creators can tokenize digital assets, such as websites, songs, videos. Um, really excited about uh, Amazon games. We'll see how they use it, but getting Amazon customers to play crypto games and then claim free NFTs in the process. And then um, lastly, digital identity. You know, companies such as Amazon can use NFTs to store and secure digital identities and keep that safe and secure. So NFTs are a revolutionary way of, of buying and selling digital assets. And now with Amazon coming on board, hopefully later this spring, we will see how they will deploy NFTs. And, and this will help, I believe, with the wider adoption of crypto uh, going forward um, because such a, a trusted and influential company such as Amazon is getting into NFT. So this is what I wanna speak about today. And you can find this article on my website, which is smartgirlcredit.com. Again, that website is smartgirlcredit.com. And it's the Daily DSO and how Amazon NFT enters the Web3 crypto jungle. And that's a little picture of a little Amazon box inside the jungle. So that's what I want to discuss with you today. Thank you so much for being here. But before I leave... Um, I also created a resource for women of color. Um, it is an adult affirmation coloring book, and it helps to stress and relieve uh, tension. And you can find it on Amazon.com, uh, obviously, and it is on sale. And the title of it is I Am Unbreakable. And here's a little video about it. 
Introducing I Am Unbreakable, an adult coloring book for women of color. Over 100 pages of positive affirmations to soothe stress and anxiety promoting peace and relaxation. Available on Amazon, I Am Unbreakable Adult Coloring Book by Mako Patton. Introducing I Am Unbreakable, an adult coloring book for women of color. Over 100 pages of positive affirmations to soothe stress and anxiety promoting peace and relaxation. Available on Amazon, I Am Unbreakable Adult Coloring Book by Mako Patton. Awesome, and there you have it. Thank you for being with me today for this edition. Please follow me on my social media, which is on YouTube under the Daily DSO um, at Smart Girl Credit on Twitter at Smart Girl Credit Credit, and also here on uh, LinkedIn, which is under my name Miko. And if you are on the DSO blockchain, and I hope you are, you can also find me under my uh, name, which is Smart Girl Credit. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time.